In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a photo grid or a collage on your iPhone. Now we're going to be doing this without installing any app. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the photos are in the photos app. Okay, the photos you intend to add to your gallery or grid are in the photos app. Next, you want to go to the shortcuts app on your iPhone. You can either find it by scrolling through the home pages or you can just swipe down and type shortcuts. This is a shortcuts app. It's available on every iPhone. So go ahead and launch it. And once you launch the shortcuts app, tap on gallery in the bottom right corner. And then go to the search function and type grid. And then you should see photo grid. Tap on the plus icon to add it to the shortcuts. So now once you add it, you can now go to, back to the shortcuts page and you should see photo grid added there. And you can tap on it anytime and it's gonna launch your gallery. Now on your gallery, just go ahead and add the photos you need or into your gallery, into your collage. Okay, so I'm just gonna select that, that. Then I'm gonna scroll a bit, put that in there. And then let's go ahead and add this one. Okay, so I have five, I wanted an odd number. So five should be interesting. Then tap on add in the top right corner and it's gonna generate our photo grid, as you can see, okay? Now, there's one more space here, so if I had six, it will have added it there. But of course, you can do anything you want from here now. You can mark up on the photo if you want to, you can just uh, maybe put something in there. You can go ahead and share that particular collage or you can tap on image and either save it to files or photos up, or you can even go ahead and, and print it directly. Okay. So that is basically how to create a photo collage on your iPhone without installing any app. So I'm just going to save mine like that. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, possibly also subscribe for more tips. And I will talk to you in the next one. Good luck.